Hello everyone. In this training module, we are going to connect to a Freightliner with the Detroit engine, and I'm going to show you how to perform a stationary regen. So we're going to go ahead here and get connected to our engine. And we'll scroll down to the diesel injection and pick our EPA year. And we'll give it a second for the ECM to get connected here. So once we're connected to the vehicle, we're going to go over to the settings tab. Most of your regions are going to be in the settings tab. Different manufacturers may call it something a little different. Uh, you may see parked regeneration, you may see DPF regeneration, or forced regeneration. Uh, but you're just looking for that in the settings tab. So we're going to go ahead and start our region and the help file is going to pop up. This is going to show us some of the required conditions for performing the regen. So on most vehicles, you know, the transmission has to be in neutral, park brake has to be set, and some vehicles, you know, the coolant temperature has to be a certain degrees. So check the help file when you're running your regen. And we'll go ahead and confirm. For this particular vehicle, we have to enter the current date and time into the text field to perform the regen. And then we have a series of conditions that we have to confirm to make sure that we're not going to catch anybody on fire or do anything dangerous. Uh, once we confirm, we can start our regen. And if the regen starts correctly, you'll hear the engine's RPM ramp up and it'll go to a high idle. Now, as you can see in here, we've got quite a few parameters that we can monitor while performing our regen. This is imperative to making sure that our region is working properly. And here you can see we can monitor our DOC temperatures, the inlet temperature and the DOC outlet temperature. We have DPF outlet pressure. And down here at the bottom, we've got our DPF outlet temperature. So when we're running our region, we want to make sure that we watch these temperatures to see if our regeneration is actually working correctly. So the way that we can tell that our regeneration is working successfully is to make sure that the DPF inlet and DPF outlet temperatures are getting to approximately 1,000 degrees. That way we can make sure the DPF is actually getting hot enough to burn the soot from it. So we're going to go ahead and let it fast forward here a minute to let the regeneration continue. So now we can see our DOC outlet temperature and our DPF outlet temperature are both at 1,000 degrees. That means the DPF is burning the soot from inside it and the regeneration system is working successfully. So that concludes the regeneration training module. For more in-depth training on the after-treatment systems, visit training.diesellaptops.com and look into our in-classroom training in Gilbert, South Carolina. Thank you.